in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the best defenses in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to help you become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some pressure that you can utilize out of the nickel 335 wide, in particular, a user rush that I really, really, really like to do uh, against the gun bunch. It's really, really good for plays like uh, Jets Dig, Mesh Post, different things like that. Um, so we're going to dive right into the video. And uh, really quickly, before we go too far into the video, this is an excerpt out of my nickel 335 wide defensive ebook. The 335 wide is the best defense of the game, and the reason why is because because it's the most multiple defense of the game. It can do literally any and everything that you need it to do to be able to be very effective. It can stop the run. It can stop the pass. It can blitz. It can use a rush. It can be crafted into six-man pressure, seven-man pressures. It is very, very effective. So I would highly encourage you, if you have not already picked it up, the link is in the description. And the, the full defense is just 15 bucks. It's just 15 bucks, one-time fee, and you get the entire defensive ebook. Now, uh, one other thing that I did want to hit on before we dive too far in is if you have any questions about any of the things that I talk about in the video, you can always text me. My number is in the left-hand corner of your screen, the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, so here's your user rush. So this is, a, I like to do this out of cover four match. You don't have to, but I like to, okay? And uh, all you're going to do is you're going to man up the, um, you're going to shift your defensive line to the left, okay? And you're going to crash your defensive line out. And then from there, you're going to kind of naturally pinch these guys like you normally would. Except the only difference is you're going to go ahead and bring this guy and you're going to man him up. When you bring this guy down, you're going to man him up on the running back. Okay, that's the key to the that's the key to the coverage side of the de the defense. And then from there, you're going to kind of make them think that you're using this guy right here. And what I like to do is I actually like to drop this guy into man coverage onto the R1 receiver. And then on the on the back side here, I like to take this linebacker and I like to drop him into man coverage on the circle receiver. And then I like to, if I have a chance, I can put a seam flat out there or a vertical hook. Okay, so so relatively easily, we're just we're just moving these guys down, these safeties. That's all we're doing now. And again, you can just man them up on whoever you wanted to. Um, if you don't want to do man coverage, that's fine as well. I mean, you can you could basically uh, what I would do then is I would put the safety in a curl flat. Uh, shade coverage down that's going to give you hard flats on both sides of the field and then I would take the middle linebacker and I would put him into a middle read um, so he's going to help take stuff vertical and then you're going to basically have you know some yellow zone coverage over there on that side of the field so that's something else you can do but the blitz is relatively simple you're just shifting your d-line to the left and you're crashing your d-line out I'm sorry shifting left to crash him out and then you're just going to kind of slightly click onto this linebacker ever so slightly here and the snap of the ball, if the running back goes out on a route, you're just going to go around and use a rush for a sack. As you can see right there, it's a very, very easy user rush, and it's a very, very effective one. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit more of an aggressive user rush that you can use. The biggest thing is you're going to take this linebacker, Savage, and you're going to man him up onto the running back. And this is more for um, – the you can kind of create this look if you show blitz. And then not and then basically you know press coverage from there but basically you're gonna create this right here and this is the pre-snap look that you're gonna be giving them okay now from there what you're gonna do is you're going to throw your seam flat out there throw your vert hook out there you know crash your line out you're gonna blitz the linebacker on the right here and the biggest thing here is that essentially the only thing they're gonna be able to do is throw it over the middle quick um, and that's why I like to take this guy and almost bring him like right into this area. It's going to kind of deter them from throwing that. They're going to probably try to hit the seam. But anyway, as you see here, the pressure side of things is just simply shifting your D-line to the left, crashing your D-line out, and then you're going to basically blitz your linebacker off the right edge or off that left edge. And at the snap of the ball, what's going to happen is same kind of thing. You're going to be able to come around and get that instant user sack. The reason I like this, the reason I like this is this is very, very deceptive. Another formation that you can do this against is the bunch, or um, not the bunch tight end, but the 
um, the trip tight end. I'm going to grab a passing play from there and show you how to do it against trip tight end. It's actually really, really good, I think, against trip tight end um, because not very many people expect it. So we're going to go into trip tight end, and they really can't block it. That's the other thing. Um, trip tight end is going to have a hard time blocking this user rush, and this is specifically from the 3 through 5. So cover 4 show 2, as you see right here. Now all you're going to do is you're going to grab your user, and again, we want them to think that this is, you know, this is what it is. So we're going to bring our user. We're going to throw him in a zone right here. And then if we man align and press, you're going to see that it's going to create this element of surprise right here. Okay. Now what's going to happen is we're just going to user on Jair Alexander, put him on that purple zone. We have, uh, and then what I would do is I would actually drop the defensive end on the right into a hard flat and pass command. That's going to help a little bit. And what you'll see here is you're just going to run out and around with your user and be able to get in against that for pressure. Those are some little ways that you can craft some pressure. Another way that you could do it from the 335 wide, if you wanted to do it against trips tied in and you didn't want to have to worry about motion snaps or anything like that, you could bring your linebacker down just like this. All you're going to do is you're going to globally blitz all your linebackers straight down. When you click off of him, just make sure that you have, you have moved him. You don't want him too close to where he's not going to stick though. So you're going to be like right about here. Just like that, you're going to click on Adrian Amos, and at the snap of the ball, you're going to be able to come either off the right or off the left. Okay, You could come off of either side, but as you can see, sometimes it does work a little bit better to the right. One other user rush I do want to talk about, this is specifically for... Um, this is specifically for the trips tight end people um, that like to run out of 3 by one So what you're going to do is essentially all you're going to do is you're going to grab your user. You're going to shift your line to the right. You're going to crash your line out. From there, you're going to put both of your line or your linebackers, you're going to blitz them all. And then you're going to put your left of screen linebacker, which is the square icon on your adjustments. You're going to put them on a seam flat. You're going to put the backside slot corner on a vertical hook. You see right there. And then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to take your middle linebacker. You're actually going to throw them into a hard flat. And then you're going to take your um, your safety right here, and you're going to throw him into a curl flat. And then essentially you're playing quarters on the left, and you're playing match uh, match man or uh, you know zone zone on the right. At the snap of the ball, what's going to happen is if that running back goes out on a route. You're just going to come around right here with Jair, and as you can see, you're going to get instant pressure. So those are a couple of different user rush tactics. The beauty of the 335 wide is it's really, really set up nicely to be able to user rush out of it. Obviously, you don't want to user rush every single play, but what you want to do is you want to make them feel the pressure, and you can send it in a lot of different ways from this formation. So that's what makes it so effective, and if you want to get the full ebook. It's just $15, and that link is in the description. Just 15 bucks will get you the entire defense of system and teach you everything that you need to know to be able to start locking people down on the defensive side of the ball. Now, real quick before we go, you might be a little bit hesitant to buy an ebook right now, so I just want to let you know that we actually have a free sample for you in our text message membership. My cell phone number is 812 216 3644. So, all you got to do is pull out your cell phone text me and let me know that you'd like to receive that sample. My number will also be in the description of this video if you need to access it later. But just text me and say, hey, Cody, I just want to get that free sample for the 335 wide. That'll give you a one hour free sample of this defensive ebook. And then if you want to buy it after that, you can obviously buy the full copy. So thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope it shed some light on a couple of different tactics that you can use to be able to blitz and send pressure from the 335 wide simply with user rushes.